Michigan by the Bottle. I'm Shannon Casey. And I'm Courtney Casey. Welcome to the fall season of our Michigan by the Bottle podcast. We're going to be doing something different. We're going to be trying keeping it short, which is hard for a chatterbox like me. We're going to be doing it in three minutes or less so that you can watch it real quick. So we are going to get right into the wine. Yeah, so we chose a Domaine Berrien 2007 Crown of Cabernet. So it's their Meritage blend, right? So 42% Cabernet Sauvignon, 25% Cabernet Franc. 25% Merlot, a little bit of Pete Verdot, Petit Verdot, and a little bit of Malbec. This is one of my favorite reds in the States. Yeah. Say yeah, that sincerely. The, uh, the winemaker, Wally Maurer, has really devoted a ton of time into making red wines. And they're actually part of the Rhone Rangers, which is a group of American wineries that are committed to making wines kind of in the, uh, the Rhone region of France in that style. So they make Viognier, Marsan, Syrah, things like that. Mm-hmm. And the winery was founded in 2001. They're in the Lake Michigan Shore Trail. They have a 4,500 uh, case production. Yep, so a small boutique winery. And everything is estate grown. I think they grow 21 different grapes on about 40 acres of their vineyards. All right. And so what is your perceptions of this particular wine? And we are noting that beforehand it has a, a very deep garnet color, if you can see that on there. If I don't drop my riddle here. Yep. 2007, so it's still a little bit young, so we decanted it mm -hmm. um, for a couple of days, actually. We've kind of sipping on it for the last couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it lasted this long, honestly, right? because we haven't been home much. It, it's, it's really smoky. It mm -hmm. has a smoky pepperoni-type nose we were agreeing on mm -hmm. beforehand, and it's definitely a dry red. And you had some beautiful descriptors for uh, describing <laughs> I get a ton of, like, dark, dark chocolate, like, uber dark chocolate. Uber. Um, <laughs> dark cherry. And then I get, like, tobacco, maybe even, like, a little bit of cigar. Are you sure that's not wishful thinking, you big cigar fiend, you? <laughs> but it's still fruity. Yeah. It's the kind of red that I, I, like I said, it's one of my favorite reds in the state. And as a, anybody who's watched our podcast knows, I'm just growing into reds now. I've actually been craving reds a lot lately. Yeah. And, um, but this one still, is, this is great. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely not sweet. It's definitely dry. And I still love it, you know? Yeah, if, if you have yet to find a Michigan red that you like, you've got to go try, try Domain Berry and Cellars. You know, this is one of their flagship wines. And they make a ton of really good red wines. Mm -hmm. So, in the meantime, keep uh, drinking Michigan wine and make sure you check out Michigan by the Bottle. And we'll be doing this weekly from now on, so check back next week for a new podcast. Wait, here's the, I'm going to turn it on for just a second. I'm going to be like... It's still on. Oh, I forgot. Check that out. Woohoo! Three minutes or less, baby. Yeah. All right, now we're probably over three minutes.